Advances in medicine are greatly improving hospital care. We trust hospital staff to know best and apply these medical advances. But change is hard. In Canada, roughly 25,000 bloodstream infections are caused annually in the ICU by central line IVs. As many as 3,000 result in death. Previous clinical trials have shown that these infections were preventable if certain precautions were taken. Although the evidence was conclusive, staff behavior remained unchanged, and infection rates remained high. A cluster randomized trial was needed. CRTs are ideal for finding effective strategies to change hospital staff behavior. Instead of studying interventions on individuals, they study interventions on groups. So scientists did a CRT to measure the success of an intervention on hospital staff to lower infection rates. The intervention caused infection rates in patients to fall to nearly zero. But wait! While CRTs are extremely useful, they present many ethical concerns which have led to bottlenecks and denials of approval. They have raised important ethical questions, such as, who are the study participants? Who do scientists ask for informed consent? Who has the authority to represent groups? Even the experts could not agree. Scientists approached the Rotman Institute, a global leader in philosophy engaging science, to help resolve these ethical concerns. Together, they assembled an interdisciplinary team to create the Ottawa Statement the first ever guidelines that standardize CRT protocol for both scientists and ethics review boards. Thanks to work at the Rotman Institute, the CRT guidelines are opening up research opportunities around the globe, driving the adoption of medical advances and building healthier communities for all. <laughs>